Good evening. If you are watching live, well done. You've, yep. you've always chosen us over Boris's big announcement. Um, thanks for joining us. Great to be with you for another Leadership Lean In. Um, my name's Joel, if you're new. And I'm Rodney. Hi there. And so, yeah, we're just going to spend the next uh, 15, 20 minutes just talking about some of the things that are going on with us as a church. Um, so if you're part of the Redeemer family, uh, good to see you, good to be with you. And if you are just, you've stumbled across this video, then you are very welcome. <laughs> We're a church that is about to move from this little studio um, in West Worthing into the heart of Worthing, into the Gilborn Centre. Absolutely. Uh, it's exciting times. More on that later. Yes. But Joel, you must be a happy man I'm a happy after man. Boris's announcement today. I am. Well, I'm happy one because we've just had half term. It has been lovely not doing uh, the school that we're part of. It's, they call it lockdown learning rather than homeschooling. Okay. And so it's been nice to have a break from that. And it's beautiful to think that in two weeks or three weeks time yeah it's about two weeks isn't it? two yeah. weeks time kids will be going back to school which person i know some people everyone has different views on it personally i'm very excited about from partly for me and partly for my children who are so excited about going back to school so if you are a parent i hope you've enjoyed your half term i hope you're looking forward i hope your children are looking forward to going back to school mine mine certainly are There'll um, be a lot of happy parents around yeah. as well, I think. Yeah. We've been doing a lot of tough homeschooling or yeah, lockdown yeah. schooling or what oh, we I call know. it. Yeah, it's, yep. been, it's, been, yeah it's been interesting times. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, two weeks left. We can do it. Persevere. Yeah, so we just wanted to talk a bit about... So we just had this um, preaching series called Reset. And so I hope you've enjoyed that. We've been looking at what really matters from uh, life and death to worship that Belinda looked at uh, last night, uh, yesterday morning, sorry. Uh, to a whole range yeah, of other work and leisure, yeah, yeah, uh, um, friends and family, yeah, all right, these different, yeah. uh, these different areas, and just tr taking time to think actually what is important, yeah. what have we learned from the last year? It's nice, isn't it, to be able to touch on real issues mm -hmm. at times that are kind of relevant yeah. right now in mm -hmm. this moment, and be able to just explore them a bit, which is what we've done. Yeah. So hopefully that has blessed you and helped you. Yeah, and mm -hmm. hope just to think about yeah what what do you want to put in place for yeah. when when stuff does start to ease when we can see people whether yes. it's in your garden yes. or whether it's in your house or whether it's walking along the beach or whatever it is yep. yeah what, what are we putting in yeah we putting yeah and place? i think it's always important anyway isn't it to rethink what are your priorities in life mm -hmm. you know and to, and and to reevaluate things rather than just kind of drift on and on and on yeah and so you know if there's been one positive thing out of the pandemic um that's obviously been an incredibly difficult time generally but mm -hmm. yeah, at least we get a chance to reflect and think actually what is important yeah and so yeah so that series is finished now um this coming sunday we have a real treat we have martin garrett who will be speaking to us yeah. martin um used to be part of us when we were jubilee church and then about two and a half years ago i think it was mm -hmm. we uh, we planted out a church called trinity church into Littlehampton, and um they, about 20 or so, a few more went yeah. over. Yeah. Um, so they, they've grown to about 40 roughly. Um, but obviously like us, they've obviously been in lockdown. And so they've been doing church differently over Zoom and things. So Martin will be speaking to us. Um, he's going to do Psalm 23. My Shepherd is the title. Okay. And just really looking forward to it. Yeah. And it'd be lovely, you know, just to kind of catch up with him and see where he's at. And, yeah, yeah. Um, even more so him. over because of lockdown, it's even harder to yeah. keep in touch with people. So yeah, it'd be really nice to... See Martin, and just a reminder: if you, we've got fr friends, uh, family at Trinity over in Littlehampton. If you haven't spoken to them, well, I was I was reminded the other day. Actually, I need to Jamie and Ruth. I'm going to try and arrange a Zoom call with you. But yeah, give them a send them a message. Let them you're know you're committed. Now you've got to do I'm it. committed to it. Oh, they, they probably, they're not watching. They're not watching. <laughs> no, but somebody else is. Tell them. <laughs> um, and so yeah, it'll be great to it'll be great to have Martin with us. Yeah, 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 yeah. And after that, obviously, we'll go on to our Easter series. Yes, which is Death to Life. Death to Life. So that will start in the beginning of March. Mm -hmm. um, and we start the Last Supper, and then we're running through Luke. Remember, uh, earlier in the uh, last year, we were doing earlier chapters of Luke. We're picking up Luke a little further down the line now, yeah. and we're running it right through to the Easter story. Mm -hmm. um, and then out the other side as well. Um, uh, with what happened obviously once Jesus had risen from the dead. Yeah, yeah. And so that will build yeah. up to us moving into the Gilborn Centre, yes. which is getting closer yes. and closer, bit by bit. Absolutely. And so we've had news recently, there's been a slight delay. I mean, that's death to life as well, isn't it? That is death to I life. I mean, the building was dead, wasn't it, upstairs? Yeah, yeah. And we're bringing life to it. Yeah. So there and you so, go. Yeah, we want, and Perfect so serious time. The life is, is, is coming. <laughs> the life is yes. coming. But, so there's been a slight delay with some electric works that need to be done that the landlord's organising. Um, and so that might delay us slightly, but we're still hopeful that come April, 
we'll be able to move in there. Basically, as soon as it's safe to do so, as soon as we're able yep. to, we want to be up there, whether it's uh, meeting to pray together or to worship on a Sunday morning or whatever that looks like, we want to get out there um, ASAP. That's just going to be fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. It, it feels like a dream, doesn't yeah. it? But getting nearer and nearer reality. It really does. Yeah, it really um, does. So, yeah. So if you've been watching the Gilborn updates, maybe on um, Sunday mornings, you've been seeing it gradually taking shape. Mm -hmm. um, imagine being in that building, fully finished, kitted out, and we're worshipping God, and people are joining us, yeah. and people's lives are being changed. Yeah. And, um, you know, we want it to be a bit of a wow factor, I think, mm -hmm. as well, in the town centre with, you know, shops closing like Debenhams, um, Beals, others, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it's sad to see the decline of the town centre. It's great that we can come in and actually say, no, there is still life here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so that's brilliant. And on know? that is just what you said there all about, yeah, we want to bring life and there's all these other places closing. We, it's just helpful to remember the promises that God has given us. Yes. For, um, for us as a, as a church and for this town and we, we were called we believe God spoke to us about moving into the heart of the town yeah. um, just to, to be right in the centre um, of Worthing yeah I mean we had a prophetic word many years ago about taking the heart of Worthing mm -hmm. and so this feels like a part of fulfilment yeah yeah um, of that and um, hopefully uh, you, you know a couple of weeks ago you caught Nikki's prophetic word on a Sunday morning it's also on social media if you want to watch it again i would encourage you to watch it again actually mm -hmm. it's a fantastic word it's very uplifting mm -hmm. and if you're part of the group some groups requested that it was written out yes. and so mick sure thank you so much <laughs> yes. you wrote down so if you if you haven't got that and you want it you can get in touch with your group leader and they'll be able to send it to you absolutely mm -hmm. so you know that the, the the idea is you know is to take your stand to get mm -hmm. in line to mm -hmm. you know be, come into rank yeah um ready for fresh orders um, and actually it's a moment to step up, step in. Yeah. Um, and that's just really exciting mm -hmm. um, that you feel like Jesus is saying to us, come on, it's time, get mm -hmm. yourselves sorted out, in mm -hmm. line now, we're moving yeah. forward, we're marching. Yeah. This is a campaign. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I love it. Just remember, yeah, God is with us. He has, he has, promise, he has yes. promises for us and we can stand, Nikki reminds us, to stand strong. Yeah. And uh, yeah, not fall out, but to, f to fall in. And yeah. so let's be united, let's be together um, as, we, as we pray and as we get excited for what's happening. And so just on that, the offering, we're so grateful if you've already given to yes. the phase two offering, making our home. Thanks so much for prayerfully and generously mm -hmm. and hopefully joyfully. I didn't see you give, but hopefully joyfully <laughs> giving as well. Yep. Um, and if you're still praying about it, we do really want people to be praying. Yeah. Um, and just, yeah. And really give out of faith. You mm -hmm. know, it's a faith thing in the end. It's not out of compulsion. Uh, you, it's not out of being forced in any way. But actually, it's a rise of faith in yeah. your heart. It's a desire. It's a way of worshipping Jesus. We worship him with our money, with our lives, yeah. with our songs in, in many, many mm -hmm. different ways. So it's part of worship. Mm -hmm. um, but we do believe that, you know, we, God's going to provide us with the money um, yeah. to be able to kit it out, yeah, yeah. do a good job as well, and um, and and to kind of like you know to then be able to celebrate how good our God is, mm -hmm. and to show the town as well, yeah, yeah, how good Absolutely. our God is because it's going to benefit the whole community, mm -hmm. not just us, but the town of Worthing. Yeah. So. Yeah, so good, and so yeah, we're looking forward to being able to announce well by the, at the end of the month when we with uh, with because the offerings over February, yeah. so beginning of March we'll be talking to you on a probably on a Sunday morning about what we've raised but yeah we're full of faith so join us in praying mm. um for yeah for everything that's going on yep it's brilliant. So, did we say on so ape just regards to Gilborn, i just want to make sure we've said what on our list here so hopefully we're april right yeah for being together and then for rooms just in case you're interested in the business side of um yes. what we're running in the town so it looks like that will be more likely uh june time that that will be more up and running it just depends on it depends on how restrictions It ease. depends on restrictions and it depends mm -hmm. on how people start to re-engage the economy and, and yeah. how they're going to be working and things. Mm -hmm. um, and it may be a slightly slower start than we thought, but yeah. you know, actually, I, I'm, I'm confident it will mm -hmm. come good. And there's been so much interest and we're just mm -hmm. so, yes. well, like you were saying, it's going to be a fantastic space. And so yeah. we're really yeah, expecting that it's going to be a vibrant yeah. place to be. Yeah, and so obviously in this season, prayer is really important. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it should always be important, not just in this season, but every season. But I've, So we've just started Wednesday prayer, um, 12.30 um, on Zoom. So mm -hmm. just click on the link on the website uh, forward slash prayer and um, you get straight in there. It's half an hour. It's a nice quick mm -hmm. time. We, we stick to timings, but we've had a couple of great meetings so far. Yeah, yeah, really um, you know, and everybody that's been there has really enjoyed it. So please do join us 
on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And um, and then um, every other Sunday evening we're praying. So that's this coming Sunday again. We're praying on Zoom. Um, the same link this time. We've made it the same, so there's no confusion over that. So, um, and we're going to be, I haven't quite formalised it all yet, but we're basically praying very much for the nations of the world. Great. Um, and I'm hoping to get some photos Great. and some prayer points and things that we can pray into. Mm -hmm. um, Great. So, you know, to get a bigger picture because, you know, we're not just in little old Worthing, mm -hmm. you know, we're called to the ends of the earth. That's the promise God gave to Abraham yeah. <clears throat> to be a blessing to the ends of the earth. All families on the earth will be blessed. Mm -hmm. And we're part of that. We're caught up in that narrative. Mm -hmm. And so that's part of our our commission, as it were, Jesus said, you know, go into all the world with the gospel. That mm -hmm. obviously includes Worthing, the town yeah. centre, everything around here, but it, it also includes more than that. Mm -hmm. So every so often, it's good to raise our eyes into a bigger picture. And so we'll be doing that mm -hmm. on um, Sunday evening. Yeah. And if you want to know more about the nations, we've got a really exciting opportunity. Yes. Um, so next month, say, put, put it in your diary, yes. the 27th of March at 9.30 a.m. 9.30 a.m., yes, 9 in the morning. 9.30 a.m., so it's morning, so if you're not normally up at by 9.30 on a Saturday, set your alarm, get up, get your breakfast, yep. get your coffee ready. 9.30 on YouTube and, and on, on Facebook. Facebook. There's a Regions Beyond Global. Global right, service, on, tell us, tell as us it were. It. Yeah, so there's going to be worship from around the world. Um, Dubai, Australia, and I think UK, maybe India as well. Um, there's going to be a preach. Um, there's going to be updates. Mm -hmm. But the whole world is connecting at the same time. So, so I think, you know, 9.30 in the morning is a little bit early for us. But, you know, but America, pity them, they're 1.30 a.m. Um, but throughout, right around the world. So we'll be, we'll be on there the same time people from Australia are on there mm -hmm. late Saturday evening. Yeah, yeah. So we'll all be together. And um, I think with Facebook and actually YouTube as well, you can usually message and things. I mean, mm -hmm. it's going to be quite a, a wild, exciting time. Mm -hmm. I think this is going to become a, a semi-regular thing, to be honest, right. although I don't know when the next one's going to be. And so I'm assuming we'll, we'll hear from different churches around the world yeah, and what's going on. I think so. I think so. I mean, obviously not every church because yeah. there's quite a number of churches. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, okay, just block out 9.30 a.m. <laughs> to 9.30 p.m. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I think I think it's about an hour and a half, Okay. Um, something of that kind of length. Um, there'll be some more details a little mm -hmm. bit nearer the time, but but please do um, yeah. put that in the diary. Be part of that because it just gives us that bigger picture of this global family yeah, of churches yeah, sure. that we're a part of. And um, it is, it's great to see who we're partnering mm -hmm. with around the world and to hear stories in other settings. Yeah, yeah. It's great because um, even this Sunday we get to see Martin and what we're part yeah. of with locally. Yes. But yeah, it'll be fantastic just to see yeah. India and Af South Africa and yep. the Philippines and wherever else we're going to zoom yeah. into um, yeah. via YouTube. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be great. Mm. So, yeah. yeah, great. Get in your diaries. Indeed. And, the, and another thing for your diary. So hopefully yep. it's already in, but the fourth, uh, Thursday the 4th of March is our third Redeemer quiz night. Wow. And so we want a term. Um, with some of you, uh, ex I've not actually I've not been in the team for any of them, so I've, I can I've got an excuse for not doing well. <laughs> but some people are fantastic, and we would love to see you all again, whether you um, are great at quizzes or not. It's just a fun time to be together as community. Yeah. As Belinda encouraged us yesterday, yes, we want to be in community. We want to uh, be in relationship with one another, encourage one another, have fun with one another. Yeah. And this is a chance to have fun together, whether you love chance, quizzes yeah. or not. It is a chance to have fun. I need to up my game, actually. I've been, You've been sitting quite low. Well, I've got a table, I think. Relegation. Yeah, oh, yeah. Relegation yeah, yeah. fodder. Yeah, yeah. So I need to up my game. And we've got some good prizes. Um, so whether, you know, doesn't, it's not just for the people who, are, um, who come in first, uh, first place, although there are some good prizes, as can be attested to from previous winners. But yeah, there will be prizes for, for all manner of things over the evening. So do join us. Right, it's going to yep. be 8 p.m. A lot of fun, yeah. Yeah, and if you're just watching this and you think actually you'd like to be involved, you're not in a group that we run, um, yeah, get in touch with us. Hello at Redeemer. We'd love to hear from you and we can give you the details. We'll get you involved. Wonderful. Great. I think that's it. That's it. I think that's it. So if you are watching live, well done. Well done. Um, now you better get, get on the news just to check what the updates <laughs> are. Um, otherwise, have a, yeah, have a fantastic week. And we'll see you soon. Yeah, see you soon. Bye.